Hi everyone, we're at California Tiny Fest 2021 and we're going around and taking a look at some of these really cool uh, builds that people are coming up with. Uh, so tell us a little bit about yourself, your company and what you guys are doing. Yeah, thanks. So my name is Galliano, my company is Voxable and this is the Voxable Casita. So this is our first product we're going out with. It's a 20 by 20 room module and it comes complete with a kitchen, bathroom, everything you need to drop down a little accessory dwelling unit in your backyard. Sounds very cool. I did see this get uh, opened up the other day. It's, it's, it's really fun to watch and yep. it seems like you can fit a lot into a little. Look around. Have you seen anything that intrigues you? Anything that maybe you'd want to think of adding to your designs, amenities? Oh yeah, we've been out here, you know, spying on everyone, stealing all their great ideas and uh, met a lot of very nice people at, at Tiny Fest. Awesome. Tell us about what you're bringing to Tiny Fest this year, uh, about yourself, your company. Um, yeah, go. Well, this is a Gypsy Varda wagon that I have behind me. This is a new build that I started from the ground up. I had an older trailer that I restored and uh, just the design all by myself, but based on the traditional Gypsy wagons from uh, Eastern Europe. The idea was to make something that was lightweight and easy to pull by a small vehicle, but still be uh, modern in design and have all the features that people want. Yeah, it does look like a small Jeep or even an economy sized vehicle might be able to get Absolutely. it to and fro. Yeah. Something. So you've been here for a few days uh, and have you had some time to walk around? Do you see anything that other uh, Tiny Fest uh, builders are offering that are cool innovations, things that you'd like to maybe incorporate into yours? Well, yeah, that's part of the fun of these shows is that you see everybody's ideas. Every build is a little different. And so you see everybody's solution to the same problem. You know, you have, how do I put a toilet in there? How do I do a, a shower that can be convenient and, and be waterproof? Where do I put, you know, all my, my storage? But this is really meant to be more of a weekend camper, three day kind of a thing. As we make our way through Tiny Fest California 2021, we're coming across some pretty cool innovations, uh, one of which is the folding project. So uh, go ahead and tell us a little bit about your company, what got you into this kind of life. Okay, so we are folding project. We noticed the same crisis that everyone else is seeing, the affordable housing, uh, homeless crisis, and uh, disaster crises that are, keep happening everywhere. We came across these, these products that already exist, these folding containers that are insulated, and we're trying to build them out to international building standards so that it has shower, toilet, sink, beds, li fully livable space that is uh, comfortable. A lot of people here have, have commented that they could use it for an ADU in their backyard. And with that concept, you can use it for an Airbnb and uh, you know have it make money for you. Imagine having a cheap place to rent that is like any, anywhere for like $10, $20 a night. That doesn't exist in California. Um, and at the same time, if you want to move it, you can pick it up with a, uh, any, any tilt trailer or car tow truck and move it to another spot. What else have you maybe seen around Tiny Fest that's innovative that you might want to incorporate in your designs or what you take to market? I, I, I've been really enjoying uh, a lot of stuff we see here. I love how innovative everyone is. Uh, I, there's guys here that are doing this insulated um, material that's fireproof and we might integrate that into what we're using. There's guys here with composting toilets and we might start using that um, waterless toilets uh, in our units and it's just it's a great little environment. Uh, it's almost like everyone's got a unique little thing that they're doing and you're like oh let me take a picture of that I want to use that for, for projects we have in the future. Tell us about Thermorock. What do you have here? This seems really rad. Thermorock is a structurally insulated panel used for rapid construction. 
It's a fireproof panel. This is something you could build anything with, right? With our system, you could build rapid construction from a small, tiny home to a villa up on the hill in Costa Rica. It's 100% organic. We mold it with water and press it into blocks. This is 100% fireproof. We will burn this exterior at over 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit and it will not degrade, nor will it allow any heat of that temperature to go through the block to your bare hand. So we've, that's very cool, very, very cool. Uh, and, and lots of different safety uh, components to it, that as well too. This insulation will change the insulation gain. The back side of the block is 50 degrees Celsius. John, tell us a little bit about your company, about your brand, what you guys are doing. Uh, there's some uniqueness to what you're doing. Tiny House Block is the first Tiny House Village in Southern California. We opened our flagship location in Mount Laguna in January 2019, and now we have 25 tiny houses that we rent out short term and long term. Folks can also park their tiny houses with us, and now we opened a second location called Banner Ranch Julian this past summer, so folks can park their tiny houses with us there, and we also host events there too. It's really heartbreaking to see so many folks want to go tiny, but the big question is where do I park my tiny right, house? Right, sure and this movement towards minimalism, towards living in the community, and just creating a lifestyle for themselves that really aligns with nature and just a more conscious, created life, not just pursue the McMansions and living in the city. We really want to be a part of that and pose a real viable solution. People like to be inventive. They like to have innovation solutions. People are looking for alternatives. A lot of people with a lot of good ideas. CNN is capitalizing on those ideas. Yeah, you guys are really diversifying the portfolio, so to speak. The here. Omni Dome is uh, an exciting alternative because it's a manufactured housing component in a dome structure. You build in a combination of trapezoids and hexagons, and you bolt this together into a dome. And I, who would have figured 320 square foot of living space in a, wow. in a six meter dome? Yeah, it looks like you can pop those up pretty easily. Uh, maybe a couple of your buddies get together. Relative speaking, Relative, you know, we got yes. a little bit of a learning curve. Yeah, there. sure. But, but it was fun. You yeah, know, it was. Back together, it took uh, you know, about maybe six hours, a couple guys together. You know, looking back, lessons are another. Right, next time I'll do it with a bit of scaffolding and some other odds and ends, and maybe even use a power tool. I hear they have battery operated power tools now. Well, generally, yeah, I've heard about that too. They got those. So yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, it seems like uh, it, it's a, a very, even even with the, the learning curve, it still was a pretty simple solution to a very complex yeah, problem. So the domes, you know, it worked for 13 years in LA, so yeah, you could have a, you know, a regular permanent housing shelter solution. Right. They can also be transitory housing because they can be taken apart and put back together. Yeah. You, know, you provide a housing and it's, it's good for six months or something. My company is small is just right because for me it's about right sizing uh, I don't do mega mansions and I'm here today because uh, I'm looking uh, at uh, C6 panels which we are promoting because I've been doing this for a long time PFF up housing looked at different systems and most of them didn't really give the performance I was looking for. Tell us about the uniqueness and diversity that you can offer with the designs and really make a little out of a lot. Right. You can do all these different things. You can do single individual homes. You can put them side by side as row houses. You can stack them as townhouses or apartment blocks. The whole idea is you can take individual units, but combine them in sort of interesting and versatile ways. Very cool. So you've been here for a few days now. Tomorrow's the final day of yep. Tiny Fest 2021 in California, but there will be more. Um, what have you seen around here that you want to maybe incorporate some of your design ideas? Is there anything that's kind of lent any creative um, motivation? Well, some of the things like Voxable are kind of interesting as a concept, but uh, the thing is with those that you kind of stuck with a fixed module, so you have to find ways, how can you take a flexible thing like the panels and turn them into something that can be fold, uh, fold out or become a thing uh, without sort of intervention. So, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Your product is pretty cool. Yes, sir. My, my name is Yuha. Uh, Americans call me John because my name is so hard, hard to pronounce. I am today here with, with Separate. Separate is a manufacturer of world's finest waterless toilet systems. We're based in Sweden, been there since 1976 and been 
been focusing nothing, nothing but these alternative toilets. The way we look at it, we want to change from, from thinking about what we produce as human beings as a waste. We want to see that more as a resource. So, so we would get benefits of, of what we produce and, and while doing so also preserve the valuable resources that we have. For example, flushing down our own waste with drinking water in California with the drought going on forever. It's just a pointless, useless act and, and we want to take better care of, of our, our uh, planet. Okay, so. Tell us a little bit about yourself. You're very interesting at Tiny Fest. Uh, you have a group of performers rock walking around with you. I do, actually. We have an entire circus troupe. We've got some stilt walkers and some unicyclers, and we also have some live musicians roaming. Um, it's just a huge diversity of mixing tiny homes with tall performances. Yes, we discussed the irony there is, is very clever. I definitely enjoy that. Uh, so th when you've been walking around here, uh, you've seen a lot of different housing elements and you've seen a lot of different products and, and, and innovation. Uh, but this is more of a culture, right? And there's yeah. an ideology here. So so what, how do, what does that mean to you? You're around your peers here, like-minded people. What kind of ideas are being shared? I definitely think that it all boils down to community. Um, I think that people are just trying to simplify their lives, dematerialize. They're starting to realize spiritually and emotionally that we don't need so much stuff. It does boil down to one another. And a lot of these places, you know, they can bring multiple little tiny homes into one community in one area. And so, um, and they're also magical. I mean, there are projects that they can bring together um, many of them and help cure homelessness. And there are just yeah, so many, there are so many projects and with what's going on, you know, in our world and the housing crisis and the pandemic, I think that this is a huge eye opener to it, just an entire different way of living. Now, I do think it's um, uh, very cool because I, I was looking at Tiny Fest and how it started in Austin. It's got, it's getting more locations and it really is becoming a traveling circus and you give credence to that term. So very nice speaking with you. <laughs> Thanks. So nice. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you for being out here, guys. You bet. Thank you.